I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick and simple no stitch mask right at home. We've all been recommended to wear masks whenever we step outside, but we're currently facing a critical shortage of them. Our healthcare professionals and frontline staff need them the most. By the way, thank you so much. We really appreciate what you're doing for the world. So let's get started on that mask. So we only need four things to make the mask. First of all, we're gonna need some form of a fabric. Um, these are two t-shirts that I cut up. We recently cleaned out our closet. So um, this is a bandana, this is a handkerchief, this is a cutting of a bed sheet, this is another kerchief. This one's made of silk, so it's not that optimal. We want, would, we would rather use something made out of cotton, like the rest of these. And um, this is an old pillowcase, so whatever you have lying around the house that's cotton should work. Another thing that you're going to need are rubber bands. So I have quite a few different types of rubber bands over here. First of all, these are the most common types of rubber bands. Um, they're usually around newspapers. And this new rubber band is usually found around produce. I've noticed that these ones tend to hurt after a while, so I prefer using hair ties like these that are wrapped in thread. They're just a little more comfortable, but both work. Another thing that you're going to need are paper towels. We're going to use this as our filler for our masks. And last but not least, we're going to need aluminum foil. And this is going to be used to help the mask um, adhere to the shape of our face. So in front of me, I have a piece of aluminum foil. And the width of this is roughly about the same width of my face from one cheekbone to the other cheekbone. It's not an exact science, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going about half an inch to an inch, and I'm just folding this in. I'm gonna fold it over a, quite a few times, and eventually I should get something that looks like this, that's nice and rigid and can hold its shape. And if I press it up against the ridge of my face, you see how it's maintaining the shape? So, I'm gonna aim for something like that. I've cut my fabric to the size of a small bandana and spread it out in front of me. First, I'm placing the paper towel in the center of the fabric. Next, I'm gonna fold the upper and lower edges towards the middle. I'm folding over the paper towel. I'm gonna carefully flip the fabric over and make sure that the folds stay in place. I'm gonna repeat this whole process and fold the edges towards the center. It's totally okay if there's a little gap here. I'm gonna flip it over once more, and with my foil, I'm just gonna tuck it into the edge of the fabric. This is gonna be my nose, that's gonna be my chin. Grab your rubber bands and slide it about one third of the way in on both sides. Notice how I'm carefully folding the chin side. I've noticed that it helps fit the chin better. I'm tucking in the excess fabric on both ends, and there you have it, that's your completed mask. Just putting it on to my face like so. And I'm, because of the folds we made over here, I can easily pull it to just, I'm gonna use the foil to adhere to my face and the chin tuck in under. And there you have it. When you're done using your mask, dispose of your paper and wash your fabric in high heat and you can use it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hoped it helped. Stay indoors, stay safe, and if you have to step out, wear a mask.